composition and camera placement, but in 3D. Alright, so in this quick tutorial we're gonna talk about how to position your 3D camera inside interior space and thinking about good composition before getting into too much details. So, let's get started. Our next step is to start and fill our interior with all the big furniture. We're gonna put some sofa in here, a table and some boxes that will represent our kitchen later on. And I'm doing this first before getting into too much details in order to position some cameras inside and start to look for the best composition for our uh, scene. So let's start by uh, putting some uh, sofa that I have here. It doesn't have to be the final sofa, just something to see in the camera. Move this some. Put a coffee table, a dining table, and let's make a box for this uh, kitchen island. Let's give it a height of uh, 90 centimeters and some box from the kitchen itself. Let's give it a 90 centimeters height and another one here. And one in here as well. And this one I want to do all the way up. So it will be a wall cabinet. Next up, I'm going to position a camera. Let's go to the camera tab. I'm using Corona camera. And in the top view, place a camera looking into the middle of the room. And by pressing C, we're going into the camera view. I'm gonna push it a bit forward inside and bring it up. For about this height. And now in the, inside the camera settings, let's reduce the focal length. So we'll get a wide angle shot. For now let's go with uh, something like 18. You want to make sure you don't overdo it, something less than uh, 12 or 14, otherwise the perspective will be way too wide. And let's try and find some nice composition. Although it's a very early stage, but we can get a feeling and sense of the interior area. So I think maybe one in here. We can see a little bit from the sofa, very close to the camera. We have another area of the dining and we have the kitchen in the back. And later on we're gonna put a nice TV screen here, maybe some shelves. Now I'm gonna add another camera, maybe from the other way around. Maybe like so. And now it's already have uh, the same focal length as the first camera automatically. I'm gonna go maybe with a two point perspective, sorry, one point uh, perspective shot. Uh, let's for now go with something like this. And we're probably going to change it later on after we add some more details. But for now I can see already where I have to invest time and effort to work on and where not to do so. So let's say that this is our two views for now. And we can go ahead and start applying some materials to the walls, ceilings and floors. So if you like this tutorial you can check out this one or this one. And please give a like, share and everything you can do to spread the word of this channel. I'll see you next time.